Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Rennick. Everyone has settled into their school routines and I've had the pleasure of attending several writing groups. And I'm so impressed with your effort and participation. Some of my school friends have shared with me how difficult it's been to focus and pay attention with so much going on around them at home. Often you might be sitting next to your brother or sister or something distracting. This makes it hard to concentrate and focus on your work. Many of you are sharing a table or are having a hard time establishing your distraction-free area. I have an idea that might help. I'm going to show you a way to make your own study carol from materials that you have around the house. It's a cool way to create your workspace when you need to concentrate. As a way to prepare for this activity, I am going to guide you through a process that I use to help me get organized. Tasks can be broken down into three steps. Ready, do, done. You start by identifying the finished product you would like. Today we are making a homemade study carol. When you have established the project you will be working on, you determine what steps are needed to complete the project. For the study carol, you will need to unfold your box to create your study carol, write your name on the paper and color it, create your weekly schedule, gather support visuals such as a word wall, alphabet strip, or learning target, then glue your name, schedule, and other support visuals onto your study carol. Now it is time to determine what materials you will need for your project. Today we are going to need a cardboard box or a pizza box, three pieces of white paper, glue, scissors, and crayons, markers, or colored pencils. We've completed our project brainstorming and now we are ready to go. Press pause on your video and gather your materials. So our first step today is to unfold a box to create our study carol. I have two box options I'd like to show you today. This was an oversized cardboard box that I cut out the sides and left the bottom portion of the box intact. And so as you can see, when you stand the box up, you have two sides and a back surface there. So that's kind of a nice option. The second option is a pizza box. And this is the one that I'm going to be using today. It's really nice because most pizza boxes have this perforated edge that you can tear off pretty easily. And so you can go around the exterior of your box, taking those perforated edges off. This is an extra large pizza box. Um, it's nice because it's fairly tall. Um, probably large pizza boxes would be your best option. Um, different places, their boxes look a little bit different. Domino's and Pizza Hut, Flying Pie, but they typically all have this perforated edge around them that you can easily just peel right off. Okay, one more edge. Takes a little time. So once that's done, you have an instant study carol. 
So our next step is to write our name on one of the papers. So grab a paper and turn it this way lengthwise and we're going to fold it in two, match up the corners and fold the paper in two. When you open it up, it's going to have a crease and I want you to use your scissors to cut across the paper. All right, so now we have half a sheet of paper and this is what we're going to use to write our name on. So you may have crayons, you may have colored pencils, whatever you have around your house to write your name and you can make it kind of fun. Today I'm going to write my name in a lot of different colors. So I'm going to make a rainbow name. Write it pretty large. So you do your name in one color all the way across. Right, then you choose another color. Okay, step number two is complete. Put that off to the side. And the next thing we're gonna do is get our other piece of paper and we're going to create our daily schedule. And so for me, I'm going to write daily schedule. Okay. And so everybody's schedule might look a little different. Your teacher may have given you a schedule and if you have the ability to print that or copy it, you can do that. But this is a nice thing to have on your study carol, just to make sure that you know what's next and what your day looks like. And so for me, I'm going to put nine o'clock because that's when I meet my class for morning circle. I like to do different colors, so I might change for my next activity, which my next activity is at 11 o'clock, and I am in ELD at that time. Okay. Ooh, at 12 o'clock, I always take my lunch. Then when I come back at one o'clock, I will be working with Miss Roberts in ERC. And so, I have my specials and that's generally what my day looks like you might need your teacher or your mom to help determine what your schedule is but it's fun to write it out and this is something that we can put on our study carol and then the last thing I'm going to do for my study carol today is I am going to create a word wall. So at school, you often have things posted around your classroom that help clue you in when you're doing writing assignments. And so I'm going to create my own word wall for my study carol. And these are words that I use, but I may need help remembering how to spell them. And so I'm going to start 
keeping track of words that I use often and that I can use for my writing. So the last step for our homemade study carol is we are going to glue the things we just made onto the inside surface of your study carol. I'm going to put my daily schedule right underneath my name. For older students, you might have a learning target or some sort of positive statement that you would like to put. It's nice to have something that you're looking at that inspires you. This is just an idea of what yours could look like. I know some of my friends like to decorate, cut out pictures and magazines. Make it your own and have fun. So when you're all done, you'll have things that you need for school and you'll have a privacy shield that will make it easier for you to focus at home. When you're done using your study carol, you'd simply fold it up and place it somewhere to store until you are ready for school again. I hope you enjoyed making a study carol with me. Good luck. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed making your own study carol. Until next time.